here, boy. I'm here. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's AJ. So I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I'm here now, and I plan on making a lot more videos now, probably one every day like I was doing in the past. And hopefully, hopefully that's what happens. But anyways, I actually had a chance to watch the Royal Rumble last night. And the reason that I watched the Royal Rumble was because when I was growing up, the Royal Rumble was my favorite pay-per-view because you never knew who was, who was going to win. You never knew who was going to return. And it was just always good. But these days, it's just so predictable. And that's the first time that I watched WWE in a while. You know, usually I watch Raw, but I don't even pay attention to it. I miss like the first hour and then I don't pay attention to the past, the last two hours because it's just not interesting. It's just too predictable at the moment. And I know that really sucks, but that's just the way it is. And I wanted Roman Reigns to win the Royal Rumble. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But I already knew that Batista was going to win either way. But in the back of my mind, you know, I wanted Roman Reigns to win. And I thought there was still a possibility WWE might try to trick us. But unfortunately, they don't even give a shit anymore. They just make everything so predictable. So Batista ended up winning. And the pay-per-view was just not that good, let's just be honest. There might be some people out there who like it, but to me, it was not good at all. You had Randy Orton versus John Cena. That match was not good. Big Show versus Brock Lesnar. That match was not good. The only thing I did like about it was um, Brock Lesnar beat the crap out of the Big Show like with five different chairs, breaking chairs on him. That was the only good part. You had Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt. Um, that match was decent. But pretty much the rest of the matches sucked. <laughs> that's just the way it is. Even the Royal Rumble itself sucked. You didn't have any big returns besides Batista. Kevin Nash was there, but let's face it, Kevin Nash is not going to come back and compete full time. The New Age Outlaws ended up winning the tag team titles, which even though they're old, back when I was watching WWF, they were my favorite tag team, so I don't really care. I'm kind of glad that they won the titles because I don't think Cody Rhodes and Goldust make a good tag team. I mean, Goldust is good and so is Cody Rhodes, but I think Cody Rhodes should be a solo superstar, and WWE should try to push him. But anyways, that's it. Um, Roman Reigns, he ended up beating Kane's streak. He, had, he eliminated like 11 people. Kane eliminated 10 before, or something like that. It was something like that. I can't remember the exact numbers. But like I said, it wasn't that good. And tonight, we're going to see what happens on Raw. I'll probably watch Raw. I'll probably miss like the first 30 minutes because I'm at work. But... Let me know what you think is going to happen on Raw. What did you like about the Royal Rumble, if you liked it at all, because I didn't. And make sure you leave that in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Make sure you like this video if you like my videos. You can check me out on Facebook and Twitter. The link's in the description. And until next time, peace. Bye.